Grade 11, uh, this is analytical civil 2. We are working drawings of a proposed new dwelling with relevant information and a table of questions have been given to you. So the instructions request of you to actually neatly print the answers in the answer blocks as provided on the answer sheet. You will find that there is a view here which is a floor plan and another view here on top which is an elevation and various numbers referring to various components on the floor plan. Let us turn our attention to the various questions and we go to question number one. What is the project number? And that project number you're going to find right here. That is where you're going to find the project number PP140. We're going to write that in our answer section right there. PP140. Question two. How many revisions have been made to the drawing? Here you find the revision section where you have revision date and description, what it is, the date and the number of revisions and in this case there were three revisions made and we're going to write that in, in our answer block. Let's go to question number three. What changes were made to the drawing on the 3rd of the 7th 2014 and we go to that specific date over there and that was the new TV room was added and we're going to go to our answer the new TV room question 4 in which town is the dwelling situated and if you scroll down you will find all that information here 29 Church Street and that's in Craddock so your answer is going to be Craddock Question 5, what is the drawing number? And we're going to scroll down. And that number you're going to find here, 006. And that's what we're going to write in our answer section. Let's go to question number 6. 7 and 8. Um, name the feature at 1. That's 6. Number 7, name the feature at 2. And number eight, name the feature at three. Let's go find those three features by scrolling down. Number one refers to this stoop part here where there's an entrance, but specifically at that over there, and that's the step that raises you to the stoop section over there. So that is going to be our steps that we're going to have there as number six. Then we scroll down to number 2. Number 2 refers to this block here with the diagonals inside and that would be built in cupboards which is going to be written right there. Let's go to number 3. Number 3 is going to be found right here. It refers to this chain line that we see here and that chain line would be your finished floor level FFL and we will write that in at number 8 let's go to number 9 in which direction is the arrow at 4 pointing and we go down to number 4 that refers to this north direction symbol here that arrow points always to the north and that's what we're going to write in there north Let's go to number 10. What does the abbreviation NJL stand for? And that's simple enough. It is natural ground level. Number 11. How many external doors are there in the dwelling? And we are going to count them. So if you scan all over the external or non-load bearing wall, external doors are only doors that lead to the outside so you're going to have a front door and you're going to have a back door here in the kitchen and that means that there are two external doors in this dwelling number 12 what will be your a be called so we have to go down to our 
view A, which is this part over here, which refers to this section over there. How do we know that? There's the window, there's the window represented in this front side here. But if you look at your arrow, your arrow says north here. So if you place that arrow here, north is going to be that side, south is going to be here, west is going to be on this side, and east here. So this here, which is represented by view A, will be nothing else than your south elevation. Number 13, what would the view on the cutting plane AA be called? So we are going to go to that view AA in your drawing. And there we have the cutting plane AA and that is only a section through a window. So it is classified to be a section view or section AA. Number 14, what is the floor finish in the passage? So we're going to scroll down to the passage and we will find that in this particular passage here you are going to have tiles as your floor finish. And there we write in tiles at number 14. We go to number 15. How many hinge openings are there on the bedroom window? So we are going to scroll down to the bedroom and there is our bedroom. And that is the window there, but we can't see how many hinge openings we have here. So we have to scroll up to our elevation. And there we have one, two, three openings. These refer to the openings of the different parts of the window. So there are three, and we are going to the right in there three. Number 16, what is the abbreviation for the fixture at five? So we move over down to number 5. Number 5 refers to this water closet over there. Your abbreviation is going to be WC for water closet. Number 17. Determine the perimeter of the dwelling in meters. And you need to show all the calculation. So we are going to scroll down to our floor plan. And we will find that we have a length from year to year of 12 meters, which is 12,000. And there are two 12,000s, which would be two 12 meters. And we have a width here of 9 meters 600, which is situated that side and this side as well. So two 9.6s and two 12 meters. So we're going to have... 12,000 times 2, which is 12 meters times 2, plus 9,600 times 2, which is 9.6 meters times 2, and we are going to get 24,000 there, and 19,200, which is 24 meters, and plus 19.2 meters, and your answer simply is going to be 43.2 meters. Once those zeros have been taken away and we've added the comma there, you will find it boils down to 43,2 meters. Number 18, determine the area of the bathroom in meters. Show all calculations. So we're going to go down to the bathroom. Here you're going to find your bathroom. The length of your bathroom is 2,700 millimeters, but we are going to be working with meters, so it's 2.7. And you're going to find that the width is going to be 2,200, which is 2.2 meters. If you go to your calculation block here, your answer block, you're going to find 2.2 meters, which is going to be 2,200 times 2.7 meters which is going to be 2,700 and they times each other 2.2 times 2.7 and that answer will result into 5.9 meter square. Remember 5.9 meter square. Number 19 in the space provided draw a neat freehand sketch of the front view and top view of the item number 6 
according to the SABS symbol. So we are going to go to number 6. We scroll down to number 6 and we find that number 6 is a bath. And this is a computerized symbol. And you will find that your bath is going to look like that there. Where there is a slanted section on the one side, a straight 90 degree angle on the one side. And it must be done in free hand. This is going to be your elevation view. And this the rectangular box is going to be your plan view. And there is going to be a circle on this side here, which you can't see, which is opposite to the slant side. Learners, that concludes Analytical 2. I hope that uh, the information will be used in your floor plan.